The Bread Shed is a grassroots, faith-based volunteer organization in Popper Bluff, Missouri that feeds the hungry, both spiritually and physically, while sharing the love of Jesus Christ. It is a group of Christians from many denominational backgrounds who are committed to working together for the sake of the gospel. When you get in the will of God, and you know you're in the will of God, and you're doing what the Bible tells us to do, there's like a wind that pushes you, and all you do is just simply put up the sails, and that is what has happened with the bread shed. You know, when, when you do something like this, you like to feel that you're doing something for people, and you are, but truthfully, you get so much more yourself out of it. You know, after spending a day doing this, and it's hard work, it's not easy, but the blessing and the way that you feel afterwards is absolutely incredible. It, it's really hard to put into words. Well, the bread shed started really in, in prayer. It started with some guys really hungry for what can we do uh, to meet the need. And uh, I had a little dream about giving some Fruit Loops to some um, hungry kids in my, in my wife's class. And before you know it, it, it kind of exploded into a, uh, a full throttle feeding program. What I like is it's just come together and decide that I am gonna do what Jesus called us to do, whatever it takes. I, I'm gonna look like what he said to do. If I'm not feeding people, then I probably don't have my eyes open. If I'm not giving, I'm just not looking around and uh, seeing the opportunity there. And so what the bread shed did is, what piece do you have? It was that question, what piece do you have? I have this little piece. I can't do it all, but I can do this. And I have a desire to, to help people. And so it's more of a ground up than it is a top down thing. But yet the top down thing says, this is what we're supposed to look like. This is what we're supposed to do. But the ground up says, uh, I have this piece. How can I, how can I insert it somewhere? And I happened to come across the scriptures that talk about the birth of Jesus and about his being born in a, in a shed. And I know that Jesus referred to himself as the bread of life. And so I just put the two together and called it the bread shed. So much of what we have done in religion is our rituals and our programs which are, I think, are pretty far removed from what God wants of us. And it's, it, there's a peace about it that, that you feel you, and you know you're doing the right thing um, when you're helping other people. They're awesome. They're a great group of people. They come together every Saturday. They feed their community. And then every second Saturday, they double that. They feed their community a lot more than just with their breakfast. What began as a simple community feeding program has grown into a multifaceted ecumenical ministry that provides prayer support, countywide food and clothing distributions, and a creative school backpack program. My name is Dave McCormack. I'm the youth pastor here at First Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff. We have partnered with Bread Shed, and today is our Friday run to the school. We, we take uh, these backpacks to the school. We're going to Eugene Field here in Poplar Bluff and Lake Road School here. And this is our load up, and now we're gonna drive over to the school and drop them off to the teachers. This is the whole church working together because it's not a First Baptist thing. It's a community type thing. And there's at least 15 churches involved in, in making this happen. We have children of all types in, in our school district. And uh, some of them come from very uh, poor homes and they face a lot of challenges. You know, they don't know where the meals are gonna come from sometimes at night or on the weekend. Uh, many of their, their parents are working night shifts. We've got 25 students that get backpacks filled every Friday that takes them through the weekend when sometimes their food stamps have run out. I love the backpack program because those kids get those backpacks and then they get to eat. When they come to school on Monday, they're not eating like crazy people on Monday morning. And it's much easier for them to just kind of sustain their own happiness. And a happy kid is a learning kid. We get some milk that we have to make, powdered milk, and we sometimes get some cereal and sometimes get some snacks. When I get home, then I give it straight to my mom. We barely had any food. We only had like 10 cans and one bag of cereal. And how that helped me is because it filled up most of our cabinets and gave us bags of cereal. What is very important about this is that people pull together to help each other. And so that's what I've been so touched by is, is the, the amount of people that have come forward to work on this project and that really care for all kids. People seem to be having more and more a vision that what does the Church of Jesus Christ today look like? 
uh, we're, we're thinking it doesn't look like what it looks like with separate churches doing, trying to do their own thing, but the body of Christ coming together. Here's a way that you can worship in spirit. Do these things. Jesus said, come follow me. And that means more than just walk after him. It means do the things I'm doing. Most of his encounters were with people who were not in the center of things. I really think it's probably one of the coolest things in, in cross country. I think it's gonna go national. But not because it's, look how great we are, it's how great God is. You know, he, he, there's hungry people everywhere and there's people that are starving to serve each other. They just don't know how to plug in. This is the easiest thing to do. You plug in, you be a part of it, it's win, win, win for everybody. Many people don't have enough to eat. And this is what Jesus would have us do, feed his sheep. And if you shake the Bible out and you're confused about what should I do, he tells us, you know, you gotta, when I was hungry and you didn't feed me, and when I was thirsty, you didn't give me drink, and when I was naked, you did not clothe me. And we have just found one vehicle that pretty much ties it all together. And once we aligned ourselves with the scriptures, it's just a blessing how it blesses us and our lives and to give and it is just unbelievable transformation in the lives of those that serve.